JB's Journal, presented by Bacon Family of Dealerships, Austin Bank, and iCare Associates of East Texas. Well, in the early 1900s, most Texas towns had an ice house. Yeah, one East Texas family has been producing ice for a long time to help keep their customers' drinks and food cold, as J.B. Smith explains in tonight's J.B.'s Journal. We produce basically what is considered a wet ice when it comes out of the makers, so you get more solid, pure ice. It also will last longer. Walking through Tyler's Ice Factory, you quickly learn that making ice takes a bit more than just freezing water. It's frozen water, yes, but as it goes through the process and it's bagged and it's put in the freezer at around 8 to 15 degrees, which gets a more cured ice over the next two to three days. The Tyler Ice Company is proud of the taste and the quality of their frozen cubes. This time of year, it's going to take somewhere between seven to ten minutes for our ice makers to drop ice. A family with a cool history. Actually, my great-grandfather was in the ice business in, in Iowa. started in 1881. It, it depended on how high or cold it got and how hard the ice got or what kind of crop of ice they might have during. These family photos from the late 1800s show the Tyler family carving ice out of frozen lakes. We are what we can call ourselves fifth generation ice peoples. At one time in the 1930s, Tyler had four ice houses. When the onset of the refrigerator was coming on, many ice men felt like the ice business was over with. You see, the Tyler Ice is not named after the city of Tyler. In fact, in the 1950s, the Tyler family moved to, well, Tyler. Then later, started churning out ice again. On any given day, this storage room holds over 400 tons of ice. That's equivalent to 86,000 bags. That's enough ice to furnish 86,000 barbecues. 75% of the volume we do in ice is done between Memorial Day and Labor Day. We have the capability of making 140 tons a day. Our trucks, if you see them on the road, says ice is food, and uh, it is. A family business that's in the bag. We have a lot of history, it just means a, a great deal to carry on the legacy. For CBS 19, I'm J.B. Smith. People like ice in their drinks. And that's my cool story. Very cool story. In 2011, a new state-of-the-art production facility was finished. Tyler's Ice has 20 refrigerated trailers and serves 31 counties here in East Texas.